Well hello there and welcome to the channel and in this video we are going to be talking about the five, yes the five mistakes that uh, you should try and avoid when growing that harbinger of spring, the lovely snowdrop. So the first mistake is this. Come the end of August, and it really is a little bit too early, you'll start seeing the, uh, your garden centers, your supermarkets selling their um, pre packed bulbs of snowdrops. And you could well be tempted. And, uh, and why wouldn't you be? The prices are fantastic, and the product is right there for you to take off the shelf. But the problem is, this is not the best way to uh, get snowdrops planted in the ground, um, although you might think it is. But the best way to buy your snowdrops is what is known as in the green. So that's come the spring, once the snowdrops have finished flowering, those blooms start to uh, die back. Um, you lift them and you move them on. You can buy them as pot grown plants in the spring, absolutely fine. But um, buying them as, uh, as pre-packed bulbs, flipping aeroplanes, isn't the best way to do it. I'll tell you why. When growing snowdots, one of the things you absolutely must try and avoid is having those bulbs dry out. Now that's whether it's in the ground or whether you've bought the bulbs. You buy these bulbs as, uh, as bulbs in those pre-packs and the thing is, they lift them, they package them, they send them to your retail store and they're gonna sit there, they're gonna sit there in that warm shop until they sell. Now, like I said before, they could be sitting there since August and by the time you buy them, which could be October, November, be honest with you, they'll be absolutely ruined and there really is no point in planting them up. So, drying out is a big problem. So if you are gonna buy them as bulbs, and uh, I have to admit, I am always tempted to buy them as bulbs. You buy them as soon as you see them, as early as those shops put them out. And I really, really wouldn't bother buying them later on. So mistake number three is to avoid applying to them in the wrong place. Um, they don't like heavy shade. They will tolerate full sun. But really, if you want to put them in the best place, they like semi-shade or a dappled shade. And um, to be honest with you, if you have got them in dappled shade, when they're in flower, they shine so much more. You'll be able to see it better from a distance in full sun. You know, when it shows so well. So that's a simple one. Semi-shade, dapple shade, that's the best place to put it. Try and avoid planting it anywhere else. Hold on, I just want to interrupt this broadcast with some important news. If you are finding this video interesting, or at the very least amusing, then consider pressing the like button. That way YouTube can help other people looking for this information to find this video. And if you want to support this video further, you can just by subscribing, it's absolutely free. If you want to find out whenever you publish a new video, then click on that notification bell. Anyway, I'll let old boil butt continue talking. Uh, mistake number four is in two parts. The first part is plant your bulb the right way up. When uh, when you get them in pre-packs like this and dry, then um, there's quite often no root on it. So this is the right way up. That's the basal plate there. But you might be thinking, well, that's the pointy bit. The pointy bit goes down because the root comes out. But no. It's that way up. And uh, the second part of this is the depth. It needs to be around four inches deep, maybe six, does depend on your soil. Um, if you plant it too shallowly, then when the foliage comes up, it can come up intermittently, different heights, look a bit messy. If you get the depth right, then when the foliage comes up, you'll get like that even mat where all the foliage comes up at the same size to the same height. You get that lovely carpet effect as, uh, as they come through. And of course, then all the all the flowers will be at the same height again look amazing um if you plant it too deep though just be aware with water tables because we live in an area where we're prone to water logging so um if that's your water table and uh, you planted your bowl about four inches and that's absolutely fine uh, but if you plant it down below the water table and it's permanently waterlogged then these can rot off so although they like to be kept moist throughout the year water logging no 
Now, mistake number five is something that we touched on earlier on in the video, and it's to do with drying out. These are, these are very small bulbs, so uh, they're gonna be prone to drying out compared to larger bulbs. And that's why, if you buy them pre-packed, dry in the bag, they're prone to drying out. If you plant them in the ground, you've got to make sure that it's in ground that is reliably moist throughout the year. And if you do have periods of drought, then you've got to make sure you go out and water it. Um, you can improve the condition of your soils to help them retain more moisture by adding in plenty of organic matter. Um, you could even go a little bit further and add those polyacrylamide crystals and sprinkle that into the soil at the same time. But whatever you do, that soil's got to be moist because if the bulbs dry out, they're likely to either die or just produce horrible stunted plants in the spring. <clears throat> so to conclude, you are better off planting them in the spring in the green than rather buying them as pre-packed bulbs. Um, if you're going to buy them as pre-packed bulbs, buy them as early as you see them to stop them from drying out. They prefer to be planted in dappled or semi-shade, although they will do fine in the full sun. Just don't plant them in full shade, that won't do them any good. They are not too fussed about their soil type, whether it be neutral, acidic or alkaline, as long as it's not too acid or too alkaline, it'll be absolutely fine. And really, regarding anything else, it just needs to be in reliably moist soil throughout the year. Definitely not dry if it is, you need to water it. And uh, if it's waterlogged conditions, then you might find your plants will rot off. But I do have one last mistake for you. Mistake number six is when you're planting them, don't plant them singularly, plant them in little groups. Now, if you buy a little pack like these, there's only like 10 in there. So I recommend planting them in uh, two groups of five. So you have a little clump. You don't want one sad looking, flipping little uh, snowdrop that look awful. Um, and that's all I have to say on that. However, if you've got something that you would like to add, any great cultural information or any great tips, then please put those in the comments. Uh, we would love to hear from you. Plus, great advice is always of value to the rest of our viewers who would also like to read the comments. So that is that. Before I go, I've just got one last message from me in the past. Right now. Just before you go, if you want to see more content, more behind the scenes stuff and uh, images that I've taken of some weird freaky plants over the years, then uh, you're in luck because we've created an Instagram page. So uh, you can find the link in our description, you can find the link on our main page and if I'm clever enough I might be able to get a link somewhere up there. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, if you want to see more YouTube stuff then uh, check out this video here. That's quite a good one. And if it doesn't float your boat, then uh, another one right there. And uh, enjoy these while still got the strength, imagination, and aptitude to make them. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.